to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Fear. I'm Daisy Savage, and today I'm here with Tell Me a Secret. How are you today? Great. Yeah, pretty good. Great day today. Yeah. So how are your shows going so far? Really well, really, really well. We've had a, a good like audience response uh, and getting some really decent audience. In. It's quite like an intimate venue that we're in, so I think having the audience there makes all the difference. Yeah. Um, and luckily that's gone really, really well this spring. Yeah. So yeah, very pleased, very pleased. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about the show then. Um, well, it's kind of a <laughs> swoop in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's basically a, um, it's a device show. Uh, and it's based around uh, this uh, art collective that's uh, called Post Secret uh, by a guy called Frank Warren. Um, so what we did was we set up some post boxes and we put them up around rooms, which is where we're from. Uh, and then we asked the public to post their secrets in the boxes anonymously. And so they did that, we collected them all in at the end, um, sifted through them, found the most interesting ones to us. Uh, and then just kind of devised the show over a month with our company uh, out of those secrets. Um, with a bit of live music, it's got a little bit of physical theatre. Just trying to keep it really energetic, like fun, uh, light-hearted uh, throughout most of the um, But yeah, so it's really interesting stuff, but very current as well. Very, very current. Everything is kind of verbatim driven and it's things that have been collected within the past couple of months. So it's all very fresh. Okay, and who do each of you play? Um, I play a woman who Wants, really wants to get married, she has a boyfriend, but um, she gets really embarrassed because she's looking at these wedding magazines and she hides them from, <laughs> she hides them from her boyfriend and we do it in a musical kind of way, so you have to come and see to check it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And directed it as well, we both did it. Yeah. And so what's the strangest secret that you found out when you were sitting through? Yeah, we've got really really yeah. Um, yeah, I mean that's the kind of the point of the whole thing that we're doing. It's not really to find like the strangest one or like the most uh, kind of like emotionally impactful one. It's it's more just having a look at like the diversity of all the different secrets that we got, and that was the, the really cool thing to look at was the fact that we had obviously some of them were just like jokes, like our mates that are posted in like jokes and all this kind of stuff, and then some of them were actually really kind of like. Quite like heartfelt confessions about um, about things going on in people's lives or um, uh, medical conditions and all these and mental states and all these kind of things that are actually like um, fairly unexpected. They're quite out of the blue. You don't really see them coming, and then you get them, and it's like it feels really nice to have had people actually commit to it on that level, um, which yeah, is great. Yeah, we've had like paragraphs being written to us and stuff, which is quite nice. Yeah. Okay. And was it challenging to put the sequence together into a story? Yeah, like, we only really found the actual narrative two days before we came to the fringe because we were changing around all the yeah. order of stuff. Um, but yeah, it was it was quite hard, but in the end, it, like, we have been together and we found something that fitted. Yeah. Again, it was like, because we're looking at obviously the diversity of them, like, it's really important that we didn't like confine ourselves too much to like one particular <laughs> idea um, and force it. So I think that was why it took so long to kind of actually get something that's like a coherent yeah. arc to the piece, really. Um, but the fact that we've been devising and working with these secrets and eventually you could kind of see it happen. And that, and that was when it, when it took place. Yeah, and has your show changed at all over the past two weeks? Yeah, we had to cut one of the seat like we're during our tech run we realised we were over by five minutes. So we literally just had to cut one of our secrets out, so that changed it a lot. And we've also been collecting people's secrets from the mile and that changes like the ending of our piece, what secrets we read out and stuff, so it has been like other changes. Okay, great. Yeah. So what are you up to after the fringe then? Back to uni. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, back to uni. I mean we both study theatre, so just gonna keep doing that really. Yeah, we've got a dissertation coming up which is absolutely Nightmare. Just yeah. Can't think of anything worse to do. But other uh, than that, yeah. But, yeah. And then and then after that, Back keep going with this. Yeah. Right. Back to the fringe. Back again. See you next year. Yeah, we'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? What are you, what are you doing? Waffle TV. I don't know. Waffle TV. We'll be back here again next year, definitely. But uh, just on to next year. Yeah. Yeah. That's not interesting. So we'll cut that out. <laughs> But um, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank Sweet. you. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to see them, they're on at 110 T-Venues.